news regarding uh, the action on Guy Quad uh, vis-a-vis Air India. Air India standing its ground once again, cancelling the Shiv Sena MP's ticket for April 17th. Well, the ticket was booked this morning of Ravindra Guy Quad to return back to Pune or perhaps Mumbai, but the Air India digging in its heels there, cancelling the ticket once again. We saw a major ruckus even yesterday where Ravindra Guy Quad made a statement in uh, the Lok Sabha, in a way, asking the Minister of Civil Aviation, Gajapati Raju, to intervene in the matter. But the Minister, of course, standing his ground as well, saying that Gaikwad is a passenger and the airline has the authority to take action against him. We've seen that total ban that's come in. But let's take a listen into what the Shiv Sena has to say right now. हमने एयर इंडिया पर दबाव नहीं डाला है हमने हमारी बात पार्लियामेंट में और सरकार के सामने रखी है दूसरी साइड जो है वो हमने लोगों को बताया है आप किसी को उस बारे में क्या सोचना है क्या बोलना है उससे हमें कोई मतलब नहीं है जो एक तरफा हो रहा था अब तक कि बस सांसदी गुनेगार है और कुछ हुआ ही नहीं है उनके खिलाफ ये बात हमने कल क्लियर कर दिया अब हो जाएगा अब आप, आपको तकलीफ नहीं होनी चाहिए आपको नहीं ट्रैवल करना है सांसद जी को ट्रैवल करना है कैबिन क्रू को भी अधिकार है कैबिन क्रू ने सर्विस के बारे में भी सोचना चाहिए जिस तरह से एयर इंडिया की हालत बनी है आज वो हालत के लिए कौन जिम्मेदार है और जो जिम्मेदार है उनको भी बोर्ड नहीं करना चाहिए Let's go across to Air India Cabin Crew General Secretary Sanjay Lazar joining us over the telephone line. Uh, Mr. Lazar, we're looking at how the Air India has cancelled the tickets for uh, Ravindra Gaikwar once again. Uh, is the demand still there that he first should apologize unconditionally and then you will let him fly, sir? First of all, it has to be recognized that uh, the MP, Mr. Gaikwad, has committed an act of violence on board an mm -hmm. aircraft. It is a criminal offense. It is an offense under the Chicago Convention. It is an offense under the Tokyo Convention. And the stand taken by Air India is absolutely correct. It is our demand that he must apologize to all Air Indians. And also, give an undertaking that he will abide by law. I mean, people are talking about which law are we using to restrain him from flying. Mm -hmm. They're probably not even aware, aware that Parliament has passed this law. India is given. Of course, we stand by this, and we've, we've written to the chairman yesterday and the minister, honorable minister, and he required the Public Association of Asia to take this matter up in a, a public interest litigation okay. in the Delhi High Court as well. Right. Uh, uh, Mr. Lazar, what do you think uh, Parliament's stand on this should be as well? Because just yesterday we had indications here coming in the form of a statement by the Lok Sabha Speaker as well, by the Home Minister as well, seeking out an amicable resolution here to this, uh, saying that uh, he should in fact be put off the no-fly list. Ma'am, uh, in this regard, with the greatest respect to the Parliament, uh, mm -hmm. they themselves have passed a law. And I think they need to just look into that law. Okay. That law is, is known as the Tokyo Convention Act of 1975. It has, uh, it, it has uh, taken on, on the entire 1963 Act of ICAO, which was passed by the United Nations at Tokyo. It says that you will restrain a passenger. It is, gives the power to the commander. It gives the power to the airline okay. and the contracting state. India is a contracting state, madam. All right. And it has to be recognized. Parliament has approved this. Okay. All right, we, we appreciate those details coming in from Air India in yet another decision that they've taken in just today for a booking that was made for the 17th of April, cancelling Guy Quartz ticket yet again. That's right, the matter only escalating further. We'll take a short break. On